is the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And this is the Redmi Note 10 Pro with Lineage OS. Let me turn that screen brightness down all the way down for you guys. It's still a little bit buggy as a ROM overall, but I gotta say, Lineage OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro absolutely flies. Now, I'm gonna be having a full in-depth tutorial about this on my website, as well as doing a video about this. And if you guys want that tutorial, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching this, the tutorial might already be up on my website and I'll have links to that in the description down below. Now this is Lineage OS 18 based on Android 11. And I've been using it now for about 35, 40 minutes. And I gotta say, it's quick, it's smooth. It might have different performance than what we had stock. I don't know if I can say it's faster. I was really hoping to have a stable version of MIUI 12.5 out by this time, but unfortunately we don't have that right now. The reason specifically why is because I have noticed at least so far with my usage of this, that Lineage OS is closing a lot of apps kind of prematurely in the background. Even though it shows you these logos, it's not holding these apps open in the background. And that's one thing that MIUI 12.5 is really good at, is that because MIUI 12.5 gives you extra RAM at your disposal, you can essentially have uh, more apps pinned open in the background and it makes the device pretty awesome to use, especially if you have eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, real quick, I wanna show you guys, this is Lineage OS 18 with gaps. So all of the stock Google apps that you would expect are here. Uh, you can get it without the Google apps if you are an anti-Google person. But at this point right now, um, we have gaps that have been enabled for all of this stuff and it runs pretty good. Uh, I was having some issues and bugs with Spotify before on the stock MIUI 12 ROM that was on the international ROM, but overall, I haven't had any issues using Spotify on this ROM. Everything that you would expect to be like stock Android is just like stock Android on this device, and it is different. I actually haven't used stock Android in quite a while. And it's something that I gotta say is quite different from what I'm used to. Now, all of the Google apps and services uh, on MIUI 12.5, at least on this device, which is my Xiaomi Mi 10, they all work pretty flawlessly and they work pretty great. Just, uh, the polish and the overall Google app integration on the Redmi Note 10 is definitely a little bit better than what we had on the Xiaomi Mi 10. Now, uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, Gcam on this yet. I have a Gcam version that I will be loading onto here, and I actually have an interview coming up with one of the Gcam developers that's working on Gcam for the Redmi Note 10 Pro to make the Redmi Note 10 Pro even better. Now, I know a lot of you guys see that I have some cryptocurrency apps uh, like Brave Browser, which is a browser that rewards you with cryptocurrency for using it. I have Exodus, Coinbase, and so far these all work great, but before I use any of that stuff, I always use the sponsor for today's video, Surfshark VPN. Now, de-accessing bank information, wanting to watch Netflix overseas, uh, having to trade crypto, those are all things that if you're on public Wi-Fi can be risky. Surfshark VPN covers me in those situations where I do have uh, risk when using public Wi-Fi because I want to do kind of personal finance stuff. And the reason that I'm even an affiliate and I'm even working with Surfshark VPN and why they are sponsoring this video is because I looked them up to use personally after my Facebook got hacked. I wanted to take my cybersecurity a little bit more seriously. 
And I know that Surfshark VPN is the best deal possible at just over $2 a month. If you guys want Surfshark VPN, you can use my offer code Mitchell. Use my affiliate link down below. It really goes a long way to supporting my channel and helping me buy new devices for you guys. And thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Now, there are lots of little tweaks that I absolutely miss from MIUI. And one of those tweaks would be the ability to have my uh, Google Home stuff integrated into my drop down menu. Now I know that I can just use the Google voice recognition for that stuff, but having it on my lock screen and being able to just swipe down, turn it on and off was really convenient and being able to selectively turn lights on was really, really convenient. Uh, there's other things that you might miss coming from Xiaomi EU, like being able to record calls in the built-in native uh, calling app and that was pretty cool. But overall, I've been really, really impressed by how well Lineage OS uh, 18.1 works on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And one of the things that I'm kind of the most excited to see is what the battery life is like. Because although I was getting quite good battery life before, I think that uh, Lineage OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro is really just gonna take the battery life to the next level just because of how light and refined Lineage OS is. And it's something that I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not getting to compare it to uh, MIUI 12.5 because I felt like MIUI 12.5 was really a big step forward in regards to making MIUI feel more like stock Android. Now, if you guys wanna chat about this or if you have questions, you can hit me up on Discord. Uh, it's where I'm really, really responsive or we can chat on Twitter. I absolutely love talking to you guys and I've been posting a lot of stuff in regards to uh, the usage of Lineage OS and my experience with it so far on my Twitter. And it's really where I like to try and interact with you guys and have conversations, which Twitter is a great platform for that. Now, one of the last things I wanted to touch on in regards to Lineage OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro is that Lineage OS um, right now everything seems to be working. We have 60 or 120 hertz for the display, and I'll show you guys that in the settings. Uh, we have the fingerprint scanner working, all of the little things that you would normally um, find that are like not working um, are working great. <laughs> uh, we have live display uh, for the display and one thing, one bug that I have noticed at least on this was um, that, uh, disable all automatic. Day, mm, night. Uh, I have noticed a bug in regards to the uh, light sensor. It just seems like it is really, really sensitive uh, to uh, it's really, really um, light sensitive in regards to uh, adjusting the brightness, which is something that's kind of annoying. But here you can see 60, 120 hertz, no adaptive refresh rate, but that wasn't something that came stock on this device. And honestly, guys, I miss a lot of the tweaks in MIUI. I really, really miss the multitasking, uh, having like four apps that I could see at one time to choose from. I feel like this is a less efficient like usage of it. Uh, but overall, Lineage OS, it's pretty awesome. The installation of this isn't super straightforward. And if you guys are excited to see my tutorial on it and you're excited to go ahead and read about it on my website, let me know what kind of questions you have regarding Lineage OS before I make the tutorial and before I use this as my daily driver. Because right now I still got to use my Mi 10 just while I get stuff moved over and probably for another one or two days before I go back to using this as my daily driver. Till next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.